we have arrived at the Cradle Boutique Hotel and I don't see any tanks here, so I don't know what's going on. Um, if this, if this was an abduction, then that's good knowing you guys. Please stream our latest music and just, <laughs> uh, ZMC, my producer, release all our unreleased music and that will be my gift. Oh! It's Mark. Oh, oh. Ooh, I see them. Oh my goodness. Oh, they look hot. GWM tank 300. Ooh, this is fire. Bigger in person you see when we meet. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. That's a banger. <laughs> and I know bangers. I know bangers. I know bangers. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy B Smirk. And after a two hour flight to Joburg, some much needed rest, a smile on my face, and this beautiful sunrise, we found ourselves at the launch of probably the most talked about car right now the Tank 300. In today's video, I plan to tell you all about the GWM Tank 300 from the exterior, interior, its off-road capabilities and why I think the competition should be scared. The Tank 300 is finally in Mzanzi. What you're looking at here is the HEV models. We can expect petrol models to be launched later this year. HEV, which stands for Hybrid Electric Vehicle, means it's an internal combustion engine, which we are all familiar with, working together with an electric power system. It's powered by a 2.0-litre four-cylinder with hybrid assistance that produces 255 kilowatts and 648 newton meters of torque. You can get into a Tank 300 from 720,000, but this being the top of the range HEV model, it will cost you 851,000. It's a very bold looking vehicle, and I think that's one of the things I like about it. It's very different to the competition. The competition being the Toyota Fortuner, Ford Everest, Isuzu MUX, and the Jeep Wrangler. Have you ever been to a parking lot with no more spaces and you see like that 4x4 parking on the paving nyanaka style? Imagine climbing the paving in this and just parking at your local shopping center or whatever. Now that's different and I feel a lot of people will, will stare at the car like, what is this and who's driving this? We ralang or more. One thing that's definitely a winner is this interior. And no, we have not entered a Mercedes. We are still in the GWM Tank 300. The interior is luxurious and spacious. It definitely would be a joy on a road trip. If you guys like this video, I'll get the contest and do proper, proper road trip content. So please like, subscribe and leave a comment. These look a million times better in person. Like, big body frames wasn't in a car racing. Look mad, 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 mad. You can already see that this one here is not the normal one. This is, this is the heavy duty level. This is the front runner kit. It's fitted with all terrain tires, even a full sized all terrain tire spare wheel at the back. A special roof rail rack kit, <laughs> alliteration, to pack all your extreme equipment. I'm not too sure how practical this will be for day to day use because I know this will be too high for some drive throughs and parking spots. But the thing is, some people will get this kit for the cool aesthetic and some will get it to put it to work where it thrives best and that's off-roading. So I'm no off-roading expert, but it's one of my favorite activities. I love off-roading with everything in me. And yep, the Tank 300 is a beast. It's not every day you go off-roading in such luxury and such comfort. 
The Tank 300 comes with a low range gearbox, a crawl cruise control feature, which I'll tell you more about in just a bit, multiple driving modes, and you have access to your differential locks through the simple push of a button. And you know what else you can do through the push of a button? <laughs> That's hit the like button and subscribe. So please be sure to do that. The infotainment screen has an off-road mode screen which gives you a very helpful and intuitive interface. You get a 360 view when off-roading and it also shows you all the important data such as tire pressure, your roll angle, your pitch angle and what your differential locks are doing at any given time. Remember the crawl cruise control feature I mentioned? Well, here's how it works. The GWM Tank 300 is fitted with a specialized crawl cruise control system for slow and steady traction over tricky terrains such as rocky river crossings, down steep slopes or up steep slopes and it's the function that was used to go up this rocky trail. No accelerator needed just the crawl cruise control in full function. The system can be selected and controlled from inside the cabin with the ability to change the crawl speed as required. In conclusion, this is for someone that wants to stand out from the crowd, save a buck or two while still experiencing full luxury. It's a beast off-roading and our drive to Limpopo afterwards showed how comfortable and well insulated it is on the highway. Is this the best value 4x4 you can buy? Let me know in the comments. If you want to find out what it's like to live with the Tank 300 then you'll need to hit that like button, hit that subscribe and just show love. But that's it from your boy B Smirk. It's Smirk. Peace out. Kunzema out now. Sorry.